Hey everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Getting a bit of a late start today. I couldn't sleep last night for some odd reason, so I was up until three. And then so I woke up, I was just very slow moving, but I'm about to head out of the house because it is finally time to retire the iPhone 7. Yes, you heard it correct. I'm still on the iPhone 7, um, but finally our um, cell phone provider finally sent us a message. It was like, you need to turn in and exchange your device or whatever, it, a trade up or whatever it's called, uh, because essentially the technology of the 7 isn't matching up with the technology they have. I don't know, something weird like that. I think Dustin has like the text message that explains it a little bit better, but essentially it was a pretty heavily discounted upgrade um, if I were to like take I guess advantage of the promotion so we went ahead and did it and so it looks like my phone's delivered I got the iPhone um, 13 Pro but not the Pro Max I don't think I need something that's like that powerful but in any case I'm gonna go pick it up half of me is excited for a new phone and the other half isn't because the whole the whole reason why I held on to it so long is just so I didn't have to spend the money to upgrade. But the discount, like a big discount, really helps. So um, we're going to go ahead and head out, pick up the phone, uh, and then have them help me transfer things over. I don't know how long that's going to take, but got to do some errands, some shopping, feed myself, and maybe hopefully get back into my editing hole. We'll see. Okay, so I think this is it. This is the new phone and I'm gonna, I'm parked at the mall right now, so I can't even get this thing to open. But I think uh, I'm gonna just, since I'm at the mall and it's kind of close to the house, I'm just gonna have them help me set it up and then they can help me send uh, the old phone back. Although I think I have, to one, I have to be the one that makes the drop off. Man, this tape is like no joke. Here we go. Ugh. Open, open. Ooh, here it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, look how pretty. Let's do a little, uh, I feel like I keep doing unboxings in our, in our Vlogmas vlogs. Um, but this is the iPhone 13 Pro. I got it in gold um, because if I wanted any other color, I had to wait. I think the, the, there was a purple or blue one that looked really pretty, but I was like, honestly, I'm gonna put it inside a case. I'm not gonna see the color. This phone is rose is rose gold, and like honestly, I. How often do you really look at your phone's color? Unless I got a clear case, but I don't mind the gold color. So here we go. We're gonna do a little unbox. Woo! Second tap, and just slides. <gasps> she is a beauty. Oh my! Wow! Look at that, you guys. Look at this. Oh wow! Don't drop it. Don't drop it. It's not even on yet. Um, so wow. Oh, and the edge is so pretty. Holy crap. You guys, I haven't had a new phone for a really long time. So just, uh, just bear with me. Bear with me here. Is the back kind of like slightly matted? It, I don't know if it, there's a film on it or whatever, but I like it. All right. So I guess I should head on in and uh, get this taken care of. Got the new charging cable. Luckily, it's essentially the, I think it's the same cable as the old one. Yeah, essentially it's the same. So that's good because I have 50 million of these. Editing Wendy here. So at the time when I was recording this, I didn't fully unravel the cable. So I didn't realize that they changed the regular like USB 3 to the USB, essentially the USB-C now. So it's essentially not the same cable, but I realized that after I shut off the camera and went into the mall. So it turns out I don't have <laughs> essentially the same cable. But anyways, story for another time. Are they not giving us headphones this time? Well, that sucks. Don't they usually give you headphones? Is that a new thing? What the fuck, Apple? All right, we're gonna go in and we're gonna get this sorted out. So I will see you guys once I get my phone set up. Back in the box you go. Who's a happy puppy? Hi, baby. Hello. Did you miss me? I wasn't gone for that long. It was only a couple of hours. This face, this face. So cute. I was kind of concerned about this little, you can kind of see it's a little red here. There's like a little tiny bump. And I know the dogs, Felcor had this a lot too. And normally they, they pop up just, you know, as dogs age, 
they, you know, do get those every now and again, but poor, poor Falcor, his always would kind of get bigger and we would have to get them removed. And I hate, you know, putting little doggies like these guys through any sort of surgery unless it's absolutely necessary to save their lives. So I'm going to keep, keep an eye on it and see how it goes. Because she had surgery, remember that? She had a huge growth right here in her back. Um, just, I think at the beginning of this year, or maybe at the tail end of 2020, I can't remember, but it was, should be about a year ago, and that was a major surgery for her, so I really just don't want her to go under the knife again. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. She's acting normal, so I don't think it, she, it even bothers her. Now that I'm home, you guys know I went over to the mall, not necessarily for shopping, but it was to get... Ta-da! Here she is, the new Owens. It's good old Falky as my um, home screen. She's so much bigger than what my old phone was. Let me, let's do a comparison. Here's my old phone. This is, remember, this is an iPhone 7. I did not upgrade for a very, very long time. I held onto this one for as long as I could. Uh, and now here is the new one. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's like that. No, the screen is just so much bigger because there's a bevel on this one on the top and the bottom. So you don't get the full screen. But with the new phone, it's the full, like it's bam, the full. It's funny, I was texting before I left the mall to Dustin. I'm like, I feel like my hands are tiny. Like I'm a child using a, a mini tablet or something like that. I don't want you guys to think that I all of a sudden am upgrading all of my equipment all at the same time. It just happen to happen this way like i said this is i don't even know anybody who still has the seven um but i held on to it for as long as i could until we got that text message that was like you need to upgrade your device because i think because that one was still using 4g and everything else has essentially moved on to 5g so um and I did notice like a lot of my services, a lot of the apps and everything started to crash. Not just one, but it was kind of across the board. Things would start to crash out and take much longer to respond. And I, was, and I kept on telling Dustin, I'm like, I think it's time. He's like, well, let's just do it. And he's actually been telling me, go and get it done. And I've just been like, no, I want to hold on to my iPhone 7 for who knows what reason. Well, the reason is I don't want to spend the extra money for a brand new device because they're like phones are expensive. Doesn't matter if it's an iPhone, Samsung Galaxy, whatever. It's all expensive. So anyways, this will be the first time I'm actually setting up a face ID. Like for the longest time, it was just the touch ID and the passcode with this phone. And I know I don't necessarily have to use it, but I think it might be easier without having to, you know, put in my passcode every single time. So we'll do that now. Face ID. I just need to get now a screen protector for it. The one that they were selling at the store was $40. And I was like, well, let me, I'm gonna check uh, Amazon because, or just somewhere on the internet because I have it as well for this phone. Um, and I know it's in seven, but when I bought it, it was like $14 for a double pack. So we're gonna see what, um, what we can find online. She's also really heavy, like in comparison to the whale. No, I guess it's not that much heavier. I think it's just bigger. That's what's really throwing me off. Yeah, I'm just glad the setup seems very painless because I thought I was gonna have to copy everything over myself, but at the store, they kind of handled it for me. So I was happy about that. Okay, that's it. I think it's set up now. Yeah, I think that's done. Really painless, and I think I still have all of my photos, yeah, I was worried. I was like spent the morning kind of adding photos to my iMac because I wasn't sure if I would keep all of them. But honestly, I needed, there's too many, too many photos in here. I actually do need to delete some. You're very cute. You know what we should check out because I haven't done this yet is the camera on this phone. So apparently, apparently I have to set it up too. So it says photography styles. Personalize the look of your photos by bringing your preferences into the capture. Choose style, standard, rich contrast, vibrant, warm, cool. I don't know, can I just do standard? And I'll adjust it later myself like why do I need to do that? Okay, so I've got, let's see if I can show you guys. Um, this is the, I guess, one time zoom, and then there's, oh, zoom in, and then there's the wide lens, which I'm so happy about. 
because I haven't really had that. So that's, wow, that's crazy. That's insane. Holy crap. There's video, there's cinematic video. So cinematic is really the new one. And then portrait mode is something that I've never ever had before. Um, whoa, that's, that's really cool. I like it. Wow, I'm gonna be playing. Navi's pictures are about to get an upgrade. Boo boo, you're gonna get so many better photos. What about the front camera? Let's check out the front, let's check out the front camera. Can I do portrait mode with front camera too? <gasps> I can't, well my face doesn't look like me. I don't like it. Let's look at these photos. That's unreal. That's such a detailed photo, what the heck? What? Wow, I better send Dustin a photo. Okay, I'm gonna send that to Dustin and see what he says. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just having way too much fun. Okay, I'm gonna play with the phone later because that could take me all day and just messing with some of the different settings that I haven't been um, used to. But yes, I did buy the new um, charging block for this phone. Um, I only bought one because they're 20 bucks. It's not the cheapest. It's not as expensive as I thought it might be. I don't know. I just usually price Apple things to be like, $30 and above like starting at 30 because it's just ridiculous but um, I say this and I buy into it but in any case um, yeah I bought the new charging block or the new I can't call it Lego anymore because it's not square but um, the guy said that he doesn't really recommend uh, using the old charging blocks so and as you guys know in the new iPhone um, they don't have like they just have the regular cable and he did let me know that they did switch all the cables to USB-C instead of the USB, which is why I needed the new cable anyway. So I might actually get another Lego because I like to have two, but I'm gonna see if I can just order one that's like compatible online instead. But anyways, I wasn't going to let, you know, a trip to the mall go. I, I didn't wanna be completely coming home empty handed because I don't really go to the mall that often anymore. So I was like, let me just see like, you know, what else, where else I can stop by, maybe a little, Christ, little mini Christmas shopping. I really didn't do that much and it's all food related. But there is a bakery at the mall that is called the Sun Mary Bakery and they have some of the best pa uh, Taiwanese, uh, East Asian pastries I've ever had. Um, and that's saying a lot because I feel like I've eaten a lot of pastries both from Taiwan and here um, in California as well. They also have like their specialty is like the salted cream milk tea, which sounds weird, but don't knock it till you try it. It's delicious. And here is the drink. Oh no, my battery's about to die. This is the drink to get. It's delicious. Okay, I better um, hurry up and finish filming what I'm filming so I can get the apartment back in order because I've left junk all over the place. But Sun Mary Bakery, I got some delicious treats. They have, um, I got this for maybe like a breakfast. It's like a ham and egg. Um, bread biscuit thing um i got some these are called bolo buns um it's a, like a traditional chinese taiwanese uh pastry but this one they made with nutella so it's chocolate and it's delicious so i got two of these one for me and one for dustin i got myself for tomorrow morning a matcha croissant and then they have like a uh these mochi donuts that's very similar to the mo it's literally mochi nut but you know these are convenient it's there so i got a strawberry and I don't know what this one, I just grabbed it because I assumed that it's black sesame, but I actually don't know if it is. So anyways, that is what I got from Sun Mary, of uh, the bakery. And then I went over to, uh, hopefully my in-laws don't watch this because this is, I got something for one of them because um, he really enjoys the treats. But I went to C's Candy and I got um, this little llama box of chocolates for my aunt who lives in Florida, so they don't have seeds candy over there. So um, I usually, she doesn't like too much sweets, so I just get her something little every time. And then these, if you guys have a seeds candy near you and you haven't tried the maple cashew brittle, go and pray that your local seeds candy have them because this is delicious. This only comes out around this time of the year. If you don't get it, it's gone. And the store only had three left, so I bought the one, the two, and the three because we can just give them to somebody. So Dustin's dad will get one of them because he loves them. Dustin and I are probably gonna keep one for ourselves. And I'm thinking I might send this over to my aunt or I may gift it to somebody else, I'm not sure. And then they gave me some samples, one little sample. Remember when C's Candy used to just hand out 
chocolate like here you go in a little cup now they have to wrap it all because of covid that's all i got that's all the shopping i did and you know surprisingly the mall was like empty it was it's a thursday it was around two o'clock in the afternoon so i assumed that it would you know even if the kids weren't um like in school i just thought it'd be a lot busier no just and it just wasn't i was talking to the guys at um the the phone store even they said that business has been kind of slow and people will come in to you know try to purchase like new phones for their family members loved ones and whatnot but because a lot of the times they don't have the phones on hand because the supply chain and everything everything is delayed um and they don't know when shipments are coming in and if they do come in specifically for like the new iphone this is the 13. they say whenever they get a shipment of iphones which they don't know the number could be between like 10 to 20 honestly just they don't know but usually once word get gets out that the store has them people will go and like snatch them up and they sell out in the same day so with with the new phone i actually had to order it and get it sent over to me um because I, I was just i waited for like a week to see if they would come in the store and they're just like it's not coming in and we're like okay it's time so anyways now i get to wipe everything on the old phone and send it back and that will be that that is the end of that. So I'm going to go ahead and tidy up this apartment. Dustin will be home in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in a second. Just for... I This is the quality of the iPhone's um, video. Like, what the heck? Wow, that's actually so much better than I expected. Either that or I'm just so used to the lower quality of the iPhone 7 because she's old, let's face it. Um, that maybe this is so new to me that I'm like, whoa, it's crazy. <laughs> we're setting up our living room again because we're about to do reactions for The Wheel of Time episode two. We've been saying that we've been wanting to do this, but we've been super busy with the holidays coming up and all the other stuff. But tonight, we're finally gonna get into it. Our belly is right now filled with spaghetti and meatballs. Very quick, simple dinner, delicious. And now before the food coma hits, we're gonna do this so I can have something to edit in the coming days. So ending the night with, of course, another uh, advent calendar treat. So today we're on date. Oh. No, that's 14. Where's two? Number two, so this is number one. Uh -huh. Number two, there's eight. Um, I'm just gonna flip it this way so we can see it. Two, down here, uh, opposite okay. corner. Ah, oh, okay. All the way down here, so we go push and open. Oh! Is it the jelly beans? No. I'm dreading them. It is a, um... It's, uh, green. It's a green heart candy, right? Yeah, so, green heart uh, candy. So, a sour fruit heart, uh, sorry. I'm gonna read that again. Sour fruit heart candy balls. Oh, sour fruit, okay. <laughs> hard candy balls. I don't know what it would be in a, in a Harry Potter world. Yeah. But... Kind of weird. You would think that they would have everything like... I wanted of... a chocolate frog! Yeah! Mini chocolate frogs for all! Mm-hmm. Is it sour? Not really. Oh. Anything kinda else? Kind of like how like a sour apple candy would kind of be. Okay. Maybe they made it really kid friendly and so mm -hmm. it's not. So maybe those every flavor beans we actually won't get like vomit or booger. Because I'll throw up. You, you, you'd really be like, boo. Uh, I don't want that. <laughs> well, you guys, thanks for hanging out with us and we will see you in the next vlog or the next clip. I thought I... Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it was barely holding on anyways i thought we were done with the night but um we decided we're gonna have a little little snack if you recognize the apple it's probably because you saw it in the last video so yes when we were at the dodgers holiday festival this was one of the caramel apples i think it may have been the very last one because we got it mm -hmm. kind of late in the evening in the i mean granted they could have had more that they Stowed was going the to, somewhere. yeah, like to take it out, you know, in intervals. But anyways, besides the case, I was feeling a little peckish and I was like, I want, I want a treat. And then I saw this and because it is a fresh apple, essentially, it's like, oh, well, you know, I don't want it to go bad. So we're going to go ahead and cut it open and give ourselves a treat right now. I'm going to just take the, oh, it doesn't want to come off. Oh, here, let me, you know, are you going to take the star off or the? Yeah, because it was going to be easier to cut with if oh. I took off the, no, you can do it. I don't know. Oh, it's. Oh. oh okay. Oh. oh. What? Da, wow. Da, da, da. And do I just cut it normal? Uh. Yeah. I feel like this knife is too small now. Oh yeah. Then let's use a bigger one. Oh. 
Oh, think, think. Mm. Mm hmm. Wow, that's really good caramel. So, mm, that's really good. I'm trying to place what the blue stuff is. Like, is it fondant and white chocolate? Mm hmm. I think it's white chocolate. Kind of like a white dyed blue with a little bit of um sugar on the outside. Mm. Pretty tasty. Mm. Mm. Mapley taste to it too. That is delicious. I will have another slice. Mm. Another. Well, we're gonna finish our half. Save the other half for tomorrow night or tomorrow morning. Not for uh, breakfast, but you know, as a snack, as a snack throughout the day. But we will see you guys in the next clip or the next vlog.